guys, welcome to my new YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw a little winter teddy bear. So let's get on with the video. So as you can see here, I am drawing a, like an overly shape. So this is the face of the teddy bear. It's supposed to be a little chubby and a little overly. So as you can see, now I am doing little earmuffs. So the earmuffs are kind of like half circles. They kind of look like monkey ears. So just try and draw two identical evil even circles. The next part, as you can see, I'm doing is making the headband attaching the two earmuffs make it thin at first and if you make a mistake just rub it out and make it a little thicker afterwards as you can see now i done the ears the ears are supposed to be look a little higher than the earmuff but right next to them Now, as you can see, I drew the inside of the ears, and that's the exact same identical thing, but make it a little smaller, like the outside. So, as you can see now, I am drawing the eyes. The eyes are supposed to look like little raindrops but upside down. I put the little nose now, that's like the little circle that the bears have. In the middle of that big circle, just gonna put a little make a little like overly black dot it shouldn't be that skinny it can't be just a dot make it a little thicker than usual then make a line going downwards from the nose and make a little smile so the smile has to start from the end point of the line and go across the whole mouth part well, as you can see, it looks really cute with some eyelashes I done. To do the inside of them to look extra cute, I just done it. You have to trace a little circle on both sides. I like doing two. I recommend doing two as well. And then I like colouring in the black part but not the circles that it outlined. And it looks pretty cute. The eyelashes are optional if you're doing a girl or a boy. I am doing a girl, so I done eyelashes. Also, do the eyebrows a little more on above the eyelashes. They shouldn't be that high that they touch the forehead, but not that low to attach the eyelashes. Do them right in the middle of both areas. Now I'm drawing the stubby little hands. And I'm rubbing out the body because I didn't like it that much. But it's okay to make some mistakes. Just rub them out and try again. For an extra detail, as you can see on the face, I've done little cheeks. Just make a little circle on both sides. You'll shade them in with pink afterwards. As you can see, like that hands, I'm making some little stubby feet. The next part I'm doing the scarf. I'm just outlining it right for now. So as you can see, the little legs are like crossed in together, pointing, pointing north. I 
I'm adding some little freckles to adjust the little detail. I like it. Are you liking your one so far? Well, now I'm drawing a little bow. A little bow just make a, a a little accessory. It's optional. You cannot. You don't have to do the bow, but I like giving it for good touch. If you're doing a boy bear, you don't have to do the bow. You can be creative. Do your own design. As you can see now, I'm lightly going in with some brown. I recommend using light brown, but you can use dark brown if you want to. As you can see, it's really light, lightly. You hardly can notice it, but I'm going in a little hardly this time. Don't put pressure on the pencil that much or it'll come too dark. So just shade the little pieces of the bare body, like the face, the ears and the body. Now I'm going with some Now I'm going with some darker brown for the nose As you can see for the nose I'm shading some places a little lighter than others for some highlights and I also colored the freckles in that dark brown. As you can see, I'm using the black probably to make the eyes. I'm doing that just so I can make it a little darker so you can notice them more from a far distance. Oh, and I also done the eyebrows as well. And don't forget to smile. So if you saw me before using the black pen, it's because I realized that, was, that one was a little wasted, so I quickly swapped to the other pen. Now I'm using some yellow to outline the, outline the scarf. So wherever you draw the scarf, you just have to outline it, outline it now. Is your one looking cute so far? My one is looking pretty cute. We're nearly down, done. We just need a couple more things and we're gonna be complete. Now I'm using the yellow pencils again to make a fur texture for the earmuffs. This part is optional. You don't have to do it in yellow, but I think yellow was pretty cute. You can do it in pink, purple, any color you want. Even baby blue or brown. 
You don't have to make it identical like mine, but I prefer to use yellow. Now I'm using the light pink to make the little rosy cheeks. After using the light pink, afterwards I will be erasing the, the grey lid outline I done to show you where the cheeks will be. Now I'm outlining the body with a little lighter, darker, darker sheet brown. It's not that light, the brown, but if you put enough pressure, it will be a little darker than how it is softly. Using. You don't have to do in a brown outline. You can also do it in black, purple, or any other colour that you think will look pretty nice and matchy. We're nearly done, a couple more steps and we will be complete. Now, uh, now I'm using the black to outline the middle centre of the ear. Now I'm also outlining the ear muffs. The black outline will just give some contrast to the picture. Now I outlined the scarf as well. The black contrast gives the look a good look. If you like it, you can do it, but you don't have to do it. You can do it in a different color if you want. I chose black because I think black more looks more pr traditional and nice. But you don't even have to do the contrast, you can just leave it like that. Now I outlined most of the body. I added my signature. And I'm writing the date in the corner. Now I'm just adding some, a couple more details so it can look even better than before. Now I'm adding some snow and outlining the bow. Sorry for the before, now I'm going to be adding the little swirl snowballs. You don't have to add some snow, you can also do some other patterns at the back, but I think the snow looks good because it's wearing, the little teddy bear is wearing some earmuffs and a scarf. Hey, I got a question for you. Did your one turn as good as mine? 
does your one look does your one look cute? Or did you do a complete different version of it? Here I am just going over some other details just to make them perfect. And here as you can see I am doing a little pink shading on the top of the forehead and the bottom for a little pattern around the bit. I think that pink will look really cute with the brown and it will give it even a little more warmer and shivering little pink touch. You don't have to do a little pink, you don't have to do some pink blush. I just done it because I think it looks pretty cute. As you can see me here, now I'm just fidgeting around with the pens. And there goes the other pen. And there it goes again. Well, I am done guys. So do you like it? I think it turned out pretty good guys. Okay, bye.